Hi Gemini, welcome to your August 2019 general tarot reading. My name is Hannah and I will be your reader for the next few minutes. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Crowning your first week you have the Ten of Earth. And it's clarified by the King of Cups. And the King of Pentacles. So Gemini, you are quite abundant this month. Not just in finances, but in a sense of self. You're letting go of any insecurities that you once had. You're starting to really feel content and stable and secure within yourself. You're finding that security on your own, financially. You're working very hard. You're possibly tied to your work. Some of you could even be working two jobs is what I'm seeing. But you're just generally content. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful month for you. Emotionally, you're secure. Financially, you're secure. You're establishing all of that for yourself in the month of August. You have the Three of Fire for your second crowner, which is clarified by the Fool card and the Queen of Pentacles. So I think some of you have quite a few options here, um, maybe two, three, even four for some of you. I think some of you have four people to pick from. Yes, I do see that. Um, I think there's maybe one or two particular people that you're very sure about. You're very sure about these two people because they bring you contentment. One of them could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly a Scorpio because I do have the wheel here, that's fixed sign energy. Um, and then the earth sign could be a Capricorn, but it could be any of the signs. I think some of you guys are um, mothering something, a career for yourself, a creative endeavor. You're creating something for yourself. And the three of fire is just waiting to take that leap, waiting for the right time to really make the jump into your passion, whatever that may be. Have patience, Gemini. Because something that you've been planning for is coming through. There is something here that you've been planning for in the realms of career that is coming through. Like I said, if you have four options, I think there's one in particular that you're very, very interested in. Uh, this person could be an Aries. This person could also be a water sign, maybe a Scorpio, maybe a Pisces or Cancer. But this person is emotionally secure. This person is emotionally stable as well. I think some of these other people, um, they might just take you out on dates or you might take them out on dates. It's not really serious. There's somebody, there's one person here who you'd be willing to take the leap for. And I think, interesting, interesting, I think that there's a little part of you, okay. So be careful with this person, Gemini. There is somebody here who seems like they would be a great partner. You could take the leap for this person, jump right in head first. But I think there is a small part of you, like your intuition or something, or maybe even another person, who is telling you that this particular, maybe water sign or earth sign, maybe even fire sign, I, I think that there's something telling you that this person is only interested in the sex, nothing else. So a part of you is telling you that this would be a foolish decision to dive in headfirst with this person. They're very good at playing the compassionate, loving, stable, committed partner. They're very good at portraying themselves to be that archetype. But this person is interested in their career right now. They're not interested in settling down in a relationship. I hope this makes sense. And this could totally be you. You could be very interested in your career during this time and maybe you're the one that's not interested in a relationship. So you have the Wheel of Fortune for your third 
crowner. I guess just the wheel. I don't really like to think of this as the wheel of fortune because it is really just the wheel of karma. And that can be fortunate karma or that can be negative karma. So it really just depends on your actions, your beliefs, what you're saying to people. So you have the Ace of Wands clarifying the wheel with the Four of Swords. So there is a new opportunity here for you, Gemini. Lots of opportunities this month in the collective is what I'm seeing. I think, like I said, some of you are really mothering something and you're waiting for something to come through. Like something, something you've been planning for, you've been putting maybe money into, um, you've been investing your time, effort, and energy into something and you're just waiting for something to pay off or to move forward. Um, and maybe it's taking quite some time. It, it might have been for the past maybe three months that you've been putting energy into this, whatever it is, this endeavor. But there finally is an opportunity that comes in the month of August. It presents itself to you. Don't be focused on other things, Gemini. Some of you might miss this opportunity because you're too focused on maybe a person. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Some of you need to prioritize your career a little more over, there. like I said, there's somebody here, Gemini, who you're focusing a lot of your energy and your attention on, and this person's not giving back. They're not reciprocating that same energy that you are. So some of you really need to focus more on this career, on this endeavor, whether you're going to school or you're mothering a career or a business for yourself. You need to focus more on this because there is an opportunity waiting. It's going to present itself, but you have to be the one to see it, right? You can't take opportunities if you miss them, if you don't see them. Some of you need to meditate a little more. Maybe you want to get more into guided meditations or even just regular meditation music. I like to put headphones on. I've gotten to where I meditate in silence now, but when I was first meditating, I liked to put the giant uh, stereo headphones on and listen to binaural beats. That tends to help me get in a good mindset, good state of mind. Guided meditations with big binaural beat headphones. Not binaural beat headphones, stereo headphones. Um, th those are really good for getting you into meditation because some of you do need to meditate because you are very good at manifesting. Some of you know you're very good at manifesting because you've seen it happen. You've taken leaps of faith with stuff before and you've seen it work out in very mysterious ways and you're just like, hmm, I have a power. And you do, you do have the power, Gemini. Um, but you, you need to be able to cultivate this power. And you can do this through meditation. Um, I really do believe everybody should be meditating. I think it really opens up neural pathways in the brain. In fact, it does. And it makes you see things very differently. So you have the page of fire for your last crowner, which is clarified by the devil. And temperance. So you could be receiving messages from a Capricorn this month, maybe a Sagittarius. Like I said, some of you have a lot of options here. You could be receiving messages from both, both people, multiple people, three or four people. Interesting. So somebody here might get an opportunity you might have a couple of opportunities here, Gemini. One of them you have to be very patient for. Very patient. Just trust that the universe is working in your favor. God, spirit, whatever you want to call it. It's working in your favor and you need to trust that. Um, because I think, I think the universe might test you, <laughs> if I'm being quite honest. The universe might come through with a test. And now this could be from a person. This could be a test from a person or this could be an opportunity. This opportunity is going to appear very glamorous on the outside. Maybe it's this person. Like I said, somebody's very good at appearing like they're what you want, but in reality, they're not. Um, I don't know if this is a person or this is an opportunity of like work or business expansion or something, but you have an opportunity or something here with someone or something that pops up and it's not all that it appears to be. 
So if you have patience, trust your gut feeling, Gemini. That's why I'm telling you to meditate, get in touch with that intuition. Be praying to your angels, be praying to whatever you believe in, even your higher self. Because some of you have had mystical beings watching over you ever since you were a child. And interesting, you might have seen more of these beings when you were a child and as you've grown it might have started to kind of dwindle. But I do see that some of you have had like angels or something watching you as a child and you maybe you saw paranormal stuff growing up. But you, these beings are still around. Um, I just don't think that, some, I think some of you have closed yourself off from seeing them. Because as we age, you know, we get conditioned by society and we tend to close ourselves off from that stuff. But some of you definitely do have beings here protecting you. So trust that intuition because they're, they're communicating with you. Pray to them, talk to them. Take time to think about something here. Use, use your logic about something. Something is going to come through, Gemini, it's going to seem too good to be true. And it is. It is too good to be true. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is a person or an opportunity. It will vary for different Geminis. But this is a test of patience because if you jump into this opportunity, you're going to get bound to something that you are not, you're not going to like. So if it, it's, it's not exactly this passion that you've been talking or that I've been seeing that the cards have been talking about. It's, it's something else. It might be a person. It could be a Capricorn. There could be a Capricorn here that, or a Sagittarius that appears to be something that they're not. And they might be doing this to trick you Just be careful. Be, be very mindful of people's intentions, guys. Because somebody might not have your best intentions at heart. Yeah. Okay. So I have the Six of Pentacles for your first clarifier, which is telling me some of you are following a passion. Some of you are, are interested in becoming business owners or you are a business owner currently. You're, you're investing into your business this month. You're investing more time, money, energy, effort into your business, into your entrepreneurship. Some of you sell stuff. That's what I'm seeing. Some of you sell something. You're going to be selling more. You're going to be investing more into buying products so that you can resell it or however your business runs. But I do get a sense of like wanting to be your own boss or being your own boss, managing your own hours. Because you have the king and the king guys. So somebody here, some Gemini here is a boss. I also see this as, like I said earlier, I do think you have quite a few options. And I do think if you have two options, there's one here that you're giving more of your time to, more of your energy to. And the other person is practically begging. They're practically begging for your attention. be a Libra but I also have the eight of cups here as your second clarifier which is telling me some of you okay your your intuition is telling you to walk away from something like I said it could be foolish to jump into something with someone here. Um, there's someone here that you, you're giving your time to, you're giving your attention to, and your intuition is telling you that this is foolish. This is foolish. This is not going to end well.
and I do feel like you end up walking away. You, you're going to take some time to wait and contemplate on this before you jump in, which is good. It's good to think, you know, before you do things rather than be like a fire sign and just jump in, you know, like an Aries, guys. Some of you might have Aries in your chart. Some of you need to really, really kind of step away from that Aries mind and think like an air sign. Use your logic. Because you, you might jump into something with somebody and it's foolish. Your intuition is telling you guys, no, this is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. This is too good to be true. Wait. Just wait. Be patient. Make long-term plans. Don't think about the right now. Think about what's going to happen in the future. Because you have something better for you. And sh yeah, I do think this is a test, guys. I think this might be a test from the universe. And if you pass, you end up getting this very beautiful opportunity here. Pay attention to the signs, guys. They're everywhere. Everything is symbolism. This whole reality is fabricated and it's all symbol symbolic. And reading tarot has taught me how to read the symbolism of the, of the planet and of the reality, so maybe some of you are readers and you can do this a lot easier. Or maybe some of you are just more, you have that third eye opened and you can see the signs and the symbolism in, in everything. There is meaning to everything, but you have to be the one that gives it the meaning. So the world card is your third clarifier. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, maybe an Aquarius. I do have strong fixed sign energy, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus. So you could be dealing with one of those four signs. You could also have those in your chart. I do see that some of you are going to be getting an opportunity. Like I said, I do think there's a test here for you guys. I really do. Like I'm, I'm almost 100% positive that there's a test here for most of my Geminis. A test of faith, a test of patience. And once you pass that test, it's going to be that cycle's going to be complete of manifesting these people who continue to just use you, right? Because I'm sensing that somebody here just wants to use you. They see your power. They see your abundance. They see the energy that you hold. Guys, I'm getting chills. This person is no good. There's somebody here, guys, that is just trying to use you. Be careful with them. This person sees your power, especially if you're a Especially if you're a Gemini with water and, and uh, earth in your, in your chart, possibly Scorpio or maybe Capricorn, maybe Taurus for others of you. But there's somebody here who sees your abundance and they're jealous, guys. This person is jealous and they want to lead you off of your path. They want to blind you so that you don't see this new opportunity coming in, guys. I'm telling you, just just be patient. Just be patient. You're deserving of love. You're deserving of a beautiful partner who treats you the way you deserve to be treated. The powerful being that you are to be recognized by this person. It, it's not this. It's not this. This person that you're, you're thinking about making the jump with, it's not them. Protect yourself, Gemini. Protect yourself because there are people out there who are interested in seeing you fall. That's all I'm saying. Especially if, it, especially if it's somebody you're, you're having sex with. I'm just putting that out there. I'm just putting that out there. There's somebody here. There's no emotion in this connection. Only talking and sex. That's all there is. Um, there's no forward movement. Some of you are bound to this. You've been doing this with this person for quite some time, maybe the past eight months even. Yeah, maybe the past eight months. I do have the number eight twice here. You could have been back and forth with this person or just hooking up with the same fucking types of people who use you, you know? Just resist. Resist temptation, guys. It's here. Temptation is here. It's here to bind you with its chains. All you have to do is resist. You're very powerful, Gemini, and you have the complete and total ability to resist. But you have the Seven of Earth as your advice card. It says, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. 
So like I said, it's that temporary pause, that waiting that you've been doing, it's testing you. You're being tested during this time. Your seeds have been planted. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest for yourself, be it a business, because I do think a lot of you are trying to manifest a business or a, a fine, stable career of some sort. You've planted that. And it's growing, my loves, it's growing. And the harvest is coming soon, but you just have to wait a little longer, a little longer. You might see this start to come up by Virgo season. You might start to see these seeds really sprouting and being ready for harvest by Virgo season. But that's what I see here, Gemini. If you'd like to book a personal reading, please DM me or email me. All of my information will be in the description box below, and I will see you later. Take care, Gemini, and have a beautiful rest of your month. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.